Damn. What the? Nah, what the hell? Where did she go? <laughs> what the? That was directed towards her? Oh, no. What's good? Sasha with Mega Back with another video. And today, I'm going to be reacting to Ryuga is the undisputed GOAT. This video is by CJ the Champ. Man, Ryuga, I don't know if he's a GOAT. To me, he's just like the villain of Beyblade. He funny, I don't know if he's a GOAT, but shoot, CJ the Champ is gonna show us why he is the undisputed GOAT. Before I get into the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to react to next in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So this man charges up a Gallic gun and just yells he said at a Gallic gun. Damn. What the? Nah, what the hell? Where did she go? <laughs> what the? That was directed towards her? Oh, nah, this is crazy. The video just started, bro. Oh, this is gonna be crazy, bro. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the round table in our Hi, first Jake. trial of 2024. Oh, and with this being the first trial of the year, we might as well start it off with a absolute King legend. So well, let's go ahead and get this started. Right, you got a legend. Five, eight, one, about 150 pounds of pure violence, ignorance, and destruction. He is the wielder of the Forbidden Bay, El Drago, and made us realize that Beyblade was that serious. One of the greatest menaces to ever do it, Ryuga. We all are. Oh, he was definitely a menace. For sure. The ranking system is ready to tally, and he will be ranked in our new leaderboard system in our 2024. Hey, Majin Buu definitely. Yes, oh, let me see this list, y'all. Oh yeah, Majin Buu definitely up there. Use your hard mud, bro. You had the reaction on that. <laughs> Y'all go tap in. In our new leaderboard system in our 2024 update. Yes, I know your eyes do not deceive you. The round table now has patch notes. So without further ado. Patch notes. Exhibit A. Lightning L. This motherfucker talking about spoilers, bro. This anime came out in like 2008, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't seen it at this point, bro. The forbidden bay that feeds off of pure negativity, such as fear, hatred, anger, what's good? What's good, nigga? Now, some of you are probably wondering, <laughs> well, CJ, how significant can this spinning top be? Well, what if I told you that the Roman Empire was built off the back of this bitch? Oh, word. Oh, and I'm not done. This has destroyed civilizations. You see, the show doesn't tell you this, but if you really think about it, the prominent leaders that have probably used this bay in the past include Julius Caesar, oh, wow. Genghis Kong, Cleopatra, nigga, oh, word? Napoleon probably used this bitch. And then here's some of y'all probably- Shit, I ain't know about the lore. <laughs> I ain't know there was history behind this. No, well, CJ, no way these world leaders could have been in this universe. Okay, why is Moses here? All right. Moses was using El Drago. He would let that bit rip. Checkmate, nigga. This bay was so demonic, they had to lock it away in the sacred bay village so nobody could ever touch it again. Until the dragon emperor pulled up and stole it. And right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen, we're already getting into Ryuga's first charges. Breaking and entering and grand larceny. This man pulled up on some Indiana Jones type shit and decided to steal a national treasure with the power of a nuclear warhead. And look at him, he like, it's talking to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I want to be the goat. <laughs> So for Ryuga's first fight, he ends up fighting Jenga's dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had Phoenix, bro. I remember you Phoenix. You can't even call this a fight. Oh, uh, damn. Never mind. Boom this shit. Knock the f*** out and posterized right in front of his child. Exactly. He boomed this shit, bro. After he knocks him out, he rips off his bandana and just starts cleaning his bag. <laughs> he just throws it down at him. Oh, no. Nah, fuck it. I got to kill you after that, bro. <laughs> this man a bonus point just off of that straight vile behavior and they just left this man to die in this boiling hot volcano crater it's supposed to be a whole kid show and jenga thought his dad was dead so a couple months pass and ryuga's been healing in the healing chamber because el drago then gave this guy boost and jenga then came to come get his get back so ryuga sensed this man's presence and said ah, it smells like bitch in here and i kid you not this man blew up the entire building just to make his entrance bro made sure to get to the highest point just to make sure he she was getting serious bro Right. Over Jenga. Then Ryuga just started talking immense amounts of shit. He was telling them, Dad, Jenga, I got it. Then I just 
kill your daddy like a month ago? Wow, Damn. man. Uh, oh, come on. That was uncalled for. But after Ryu got talked shit for a good five minutes, they end up having the whole base stadium come up out the water so they can battle. But here's what actually makes this fight just wild. So at this point in the series, Jenga has pretty much washed everybody. This man's like a good 15 and 0 right now. Straight undefeated. So Ryuga basically had to show him who was the fraud and who Tough. was the goat. Fraud watch. This nigga Jenga got absolutely annihilated. I'm talking like straight embarrassed. Bro was getting knocked back multiple times. It got so bad this man Doji just started glazing Ryuga the whole fight. Oh yes, Master Ryuga. Look at how so elegant and so graciously El Drago spins to the left. Oh, so splendid. Reverse rotation just takes my breath away. Oh, oh my God. I remember them niggas talking about some reverse rotation because usually like they would spin to the right and motherfuckers spin to the left. I don't know why the fuck that shit matters. <laughs> <laughs> bro, is dick riding all you do? No, I'm like, saying you look. literally got that nigga dick in your mouth right now. I see it. And this fight just kept getting worse. Look at him juggling his shit, cracking the nigga shit. Had this Damn. man Jenga on his knees, looking like he about to pray for forgiveness. And while Jenga's on his knees, Ryuga basically told him, "Wow, man, <laughs> you are ass. You might be more ass than your daddy. No wonder your mama left y'all." Uh. <laughs> you, you should kill yourself. <laughs> Oh, this man Jenga got mad as hell, bro. Got a whole rage boost. But this is where Jenga shot himself in bro, the foot. Bro, got that Kyle Ken the going. <laughs> you get, the more power El Drago gets. Because El Drago's just going to absorb it. And you see, this makes a perfect duo. Because Ryuga is a troll. So the more he pisses you off, the more power he gains. So this fight was basically wrapped up. Bro shoots a gallant gun in the air. And bro, see, this is the thing I'm talking about, bro. The These niggas are spinning tops, bro. How the fuck this nigga... <laughs> <laughs> nigga charging the <laughs> that don't make any sense to me man this shit was getting way too serious than it needed to be and it was all over pegasus cooked jenga cooked madoka about to make a bag because she knows she's got to repair this man's bay and ladies she and was doing that shit for this free though was just the start of the destruction because i'll be honest with you that was just a prologue for this video now we are at exhibit a the greatest tournament run of all time ryuga's battle bladers run was something special i'll tell you that but before the tournament even started look at his training regimen this man has a total of 40 niggas surrounding him <laughs> and they have all been trained to master their bay type so these these are not your run-of-the-mill scrubs. These niggas are elite. So all 40 of them shoot at him. And this man shreds every single one of their base. <laughs> after he shredded them, he wasn't even finished. Bro said, nah, nigga, I ain't done yet. And sent every single one of them into the vortex. And just like that, this man just racked up 40 bodies. Now I know some of y'all gonna be like, <laughs> that, that is insane, bro. They're not dead, nigga. Be for real. No human being is surviving that. I don't give a shit. They could. Prime Tyson they could. Low key, they could. Dead. This man's foot is gone. That nigga is amputated. Ooh, never mind. Maybe so <laughs> argue with a wall. Kill count up to forty. So now it was time for the qualifiers. Some of them could have survived. There could have been like a lot of casualties, but maybe some people survive. You know, you know, they get sent to the emergency room. They, they could have made a full recovery. Maybe not a full recovery, but definitely would have recovered and not died. So I don't know if it was exactly 40, but you know, for the sake of the video, you're going to be 40. Thousand bay points to make it to the tournament. So how did Ryuga rack up all these points? Simple. Go on the tear of a century. This man goes to a battle royale with 99 opponents. He pulls up in his <laughs> Look at these niggas fits, bro. Look at this nigga, bro. I don't know why in anime back back in this time, they had these niggas wearing these little um these little short ass blazer jackets. And look at it. Look at all of them got the collar cuffed up. All of them got the collar cuffed up, bro. He swear they cool. You swear you're cool, bro. Oh my goodness. This was the style back then, though. This is like what, 2009? This was a style back then. You had you had to throw your collar up, bro. That shit look lame as fuck now, but hey, you was that nigga back then. Opponents. He pulls up in his chopper, doesn't even get out. And obviously everybody is shook. They don't want to fight the goat. So they all decide to team up on him. This man shoots from the chopper and shreds everybody. Bro, that nigga El Drago, bro. I don't know what to tell you. This man soloed the whole lobby. This man is a goat. This man deserves all the glaze, all the dick riding. It don't matter. This man's run was so legendary. It was on ESPN more than Taylor Swift. This is Sports, Sports Center. Center countdown.
breaking news this just in ryuga is going on an absolute tear right now after recently defeating 99 at once and just moments ago blowing up the entire stadium we now have to ask the question is ryuga the goat joining me now is not skip bayless and not shannon sharp uh, skip i'm gonna go ahead and tell you this right now this man is a goat oh lord here we go <laughs> no, no skip listen to me i'm telling you he's better than jordan lebron kareem brady mahomes tyson oh, Ali, oh, oh, Messi. Shannon, stop Whoa, it on. stop it he's not that good i mean come on he's using a forbidden bay and you see skip this why i can't fucking stand your ass because your ass be hating 20 <laughs> this is really how to be sounding like too. <laughs> it got to the point where it was winning at least two tournaments a day i mean look at this these two dudes right here are in the city oh i remember that nigga Ryuga. instead of letting them fight to see that nigga was fucking face, slobbering out that lollipop said, no pause bro <laughs> he was like i might as well fight both of y'all niggas slobbering on that lollipop in this bay he was a snipe that shit i remember took with some hmm. <laughs> This dude, I swear he was a girl, bro. Until these niggas started talking, I was like, bro. Out and said, you know what? That's a waste of time. I might as well fight both of y'all niggas at the same time. And y'all can already guess how this went. Rutero. Ah! Boom. Random nigga with the afro and the scouter on. Boom. <laughs> had a scouter because I'm they used to be sniping niggas. No chance. Then he walks up to him at the end of the tournament and tells him, what do you want? Yeah, man, we already lost, bro. Back off. Yeah, y'all are premium trash. Garbage. Straight fucking... Elephant testicles. I thought I would like you to join my crew. What the fuck? So now it was finally time for Battle Bladers. And this is how you can tell how locked in Ryuga was. They are having the opening ceremony with everybody out here. This man is nowhere to be seen. You said fuck that, bro. He is in the locker room, just sitting in the dark fighting demons. You can tell exactly what he's thinking in his head. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to fuck these motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So in the first round, Ryuga has to face Hikaru. And well, <laughs> in all honesty, this is probably the worst violation in the entire series. So Bro, this, is, that, is that the shit that happened in the opening? Oh no. They <laughs> Shorty got hit with a Kamehameha. She really thinks she's about to do something. But her confidence was about to sink to the bottom of the ocean. So here come the announcer glazing. In her opponent, the gold Ryuga. <laughs> the crowd is like, what that trick? And look at this man walking out. Straight aura. This girl was shaking in her boots. Nigga, she was scared to even pull out the bay. She was like, I don't know about this, bro. Come on, bitch. Time to dance. So they start in five seconds to the fight. He already cooking her. So then he ends up telling her, for having the balls to fight me, I'm going to send you on an all expenses paid trip to Cancun. So this man charges up a gallic gun. Bro, this is a thing. I don't fuck this nigga. This Yeah. Bro, he literally killed her, bro. <laughs> Got some stuff to discuss. So let's analyze this situation real quick. This man just blew a hole in the stadium, put this bitch in a coma, and that uh enjoy retirement line? I wasn't joking. After this fight, Hikaru never picked up a Beyblade ever again. <laughs> she retired. And what makes this Oh ten my times goodness, bro, that's crazy. Promise to her sick mother that she would become the best blader in the world. So this man did not just crush her. He crushed her dreams, her spirit, and overall just her mental state. This is easily double points. Next up on the chopping block was that is Tsubasa. Insane. I don't Tsubasa remember that. already had a run-in with Ryuga before, so he created a game plan, and that was to run away like a bitch the entire fight. It got so bad, niggas was booing his ass. You fucking stink! To my pussy, grow some balls! My <laughs> Tsubasa's plan was to Now the parlay, that's funny. <laughs> And to give this man some credit, he was technically the first person to ever stop this move. It was a miracle. But then Ryuga looked at this man and said, wow, impressive. Let's see if he could do that again. Huh? 
So Ryuga charged up another one, then started to drain his soul to make sure bro did not get up a second time, then just pile drive this bay. This man Subasa was cut. <laughs> man, this man Ryuga. The man destroyed the stadium once again. <laughs> so that's another case of putting a nigga in a coma with property damage on the side. Damn. So next up was the battle of the dogs. Cause this man Kiyoya was one of the Kiyoya. only people to ever give this man a fight. Yeah. But before the fight even <laughs> happens, look how Ryuga asserts his dominance. This man blows up the stadium. Damn. Once again. What the fuck? They didn't even start fighting. What the fuck? He was literally just walking there. What? Is the fight over? What the fuck? Blows up the stadium once again just because he <laughs> felt like it. And also, since he blew up the stadium, this fight is a death match now. Because since the stadium's gone, there's no ring outs. So they start fighting. Kiyoya's actually holding his own, which is a rarity when it comes to fighting this nigga. But over time, right, you could just start. Hey, Kiyoya was that man. guy. Bro started to get flung. Like, look how actually, hit that wall. Like, this man's spine has to be. I ain't gonna hold you. Kiyoya actually wasn't that guy. He was like the Vegeta of this bitch. He was cool, but like, this nigga couldn't catch no dub to save his life he probably gave him scoliosis after that Ooh. game but kiyoya was going blow for blow with bro well they were setting off literal mortar strikes in a public domain like i'm on all honesty surprised that most of these pedestrians at these damn tournament arcs do not die like how one of these niggas not caught astray and look at kiyoya just getting blown the fuck up while they just cheering in the background like yeah like if you really think about it, these motherfuckers are sick. They are hey, that, it, it's real, bro. Kids have a death match. So they both end up going in for their final attack and set off a nuke. But Ryuga ends up getting taken over by El Drago. And El Drago told that man, My time is over, little nigga. So this man charges up an egregious attack that made everybody evacuate the stadium <laughs> again. And Kiyoya. <laughs> <laughs> This brother got annihilated. Bro straight up got impaled on a kid show. And bro just staring at him like, yeah, <laughs> weak ass nigga. So obviously Kiyoya's biggest glazer, Ben K, got mad as hell. Bro was like, ah, how dare you touch my glorious King Kiyoya? So he tries to attack him, but Ryuka jumps up and tells him, sit down, Porky the Pig. And Ben K gets boomed. And this is the second time he didn't got boomed. He got boomed in the battle royale. And just like that, this man made the finals and put all his opponents in comatosis. Oh, but <laughs> we can't forget what he did to the other opponents after their fights. Any person that was associated with the dark nebula in this tournament? Yeah, Ryugo boomed they ass after they lost. The bro just got a triple kill. Look at these two niggas on the ground over here. They already done got fucked up. It was probably so brutal, they didn't even decide to show it. And bro wasn't even done. After this, he takes out the air Nigga again. again bro what does dude bro do we assaulted seven dudes in the amount of 30 seconds so they could basically become food for el drago oh but you thought he was done no 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 he ended up catching this man doji lacking bro is beat up in everything so doji out here trying How? to save his ass like ah master ryuga my glorious king just so you know i didn't get beat up by anybody but this man ryuga did not care bro said nigga you weak as shit so go ahead and make yourself useful and give up that ass no 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 what the wait 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 what what the that is insane murdering his closest ally and just straight damn this man doji uh, let's be real y'all this man got his booty devoured the fact that he dodged death right here is astonishing. So now it was finally time for the finals. The greatest of all time versus the main character. Surely the goat wouldn't get robbed by plot, right? Give me the money. So them boys let it rip. And Ryuga's already coming in with the pressure. He's damn near pushing this man Jingo off the damn stage. He probably won with the power of friendship type shit. Getting thrown at him. Look at him, he uppercutted the shit out of his mate and just slammed it into the ground and he's just drilling it. So this fight already looks wrapped up. Ryuga already got a 3-1 lead and is beating this man's ass. The finals trophy is his. But of course, the refs, I mean the writers, come in to save the day. Because here comes the power of friendship. Bruh. All this man's friends are here on top of this building. The script is trying to rob this nigga. So obviously, Jenga gets an amp and is somehow. You got a friendship boost. Man back 
This is some bullshit. I refuse to believe that this nigga is about to get 28 3 So why you was like, oh hell no, nah, my legacy's on the line. So my man charges up his gallant gun and he goes ahead and shoot it at him. But this man Jink is pushing it back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're witnessing a robbery. So then El Drago takes over. Jink started turning to a dragon bro for real. Like, Please, bro said. Oh hell no, nah, nigga. Our legacy's on the line and you pulling this bullshit? No, nah, fuck that. So Jenga just started getting fresh. El Drago was whooping that ass. Bro had to save the legacy. Bro was pulling out every single move in the move list. Jenga was damn near close to getting packed. But again, bro is hanging on the railing, bro. You try to tell me that this guy won? Nah, baby, y'all robbed damn this nigga. Y'all robbed Ryuga, bro. Here comes a script writer saving the day. Because Hikaru, Sabasa, and Kiyoya come to save bro. this nigga. Like, bro, what the fuck is a real? Yeah, that's some bullshit. Like Bay and some or something. I can't even so they lie. basically make this man's Bay a spirit bomb. And the fight ends up going to the stratosphere. And El Drago gets slammed. And Ryuga takes the first loss of his career. <sighs> Tough times, man. It sucks when you see your goat lose, bro. Hey, but get this though. Ryuga may have lost, but Storm Pegasus had to retire. Blood said the lights were too bright. I can't do this no more. And Ryuga? That man picked up El Drago and said, I ain't gonna let these script writers hold me ever again. Bro said, fuck going to Cancun. We going back to the lab. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes exhibit A. Yeah, uh, we're not done yet. Not even close, actually. And already with a whopping score of 161. That was just the beginning of this man's legendary career. So when will part two drop? You know what? To hell with it, bro. We'll do it just like we did with Shibuya Charles. Like the video, I'll drop this hoe next week. And until then, I bid you farewell. I just thought he was a funny nigga, a funny villain. This man was straight up violating everyone. The script writers hold him at the end because of the, po the power of friendship. All of a sudden, Kiyoya and shit. Kiyoyo don't even like Jinka like that. What the fuck? Why the why the all of a sudden you try to help this nigga? Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all the next one. I peace.